All right, hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in on this end of the weekend, Sunday night, August 9th, 2020, about 8.08 .08 p.m. West Coast time here. Just going to do a little recap update video on the activity happening out here along the eastern part of the country. Also, some activity picking up out there in the western part of the country as well. We're looking at, uh, of course, the activity out there in North Carolina early this morning we've seen a, a 5.1 magnitude earthquake strike out there and shake up quite a few folks out there uh, that's the uh, wrong map here let me go ahead and bring this up here Let's see if I can find the other map there we go USGS map here the good folks right the good folks there at the USGS you know I have nothing bad to say about those guys they're uh, they're uh, a good bunch of folks, and they know exactly what they're doing here. This is the 2.5 and above. This does not show the prior earthquake activity that struck before the 5.1 there in North Korea, North Carolina. <laughs> that was kind of strange. Um, so we'll bring this down a little bit, and we can see the, the uh, multitude of quakes that struck out there before that 5.1. And there was quite a few. To be exact, it looks like there was four. There was a 2.3, 2.6, 2.0, and a 2.2 prior to that 5.1 magnitude earthquake that struck out there in North Carolina. Quite a few folks reported feeling uh, the earthquake throughout pretty much, I'm, I mean joking, probably about 10 states out there along the uh, eastern part of the country there. Even got reports of some uh, earthquakes or uh, it being felt out there in Oklahoma. So it's, 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 it's amazing how far an earthquake can be felt out there um, east of the Rockies there. So since then, we're looking at uh, very minimal aftershock activity, a 1.8 and a 1.7 respectfully out there. Other than that, not a whole lot of aftershock activity, folks. So something to watch, something to monitor um, out here central part of the country some sporadic earthquake activity out there oklahoma and also out there around the dallas area looks like right around at least northwest of the dallas um metroplex there uh, irving it looks like that's kind of towards the airport area yeah I, I recognize that because i fly in there quite a bit dallas fort worth airport there's that 2.3 at 5 0.4 kilometers below surface there so um, you know it's not abnormal to see some surface quaking out there with all the activity that's taking place out there around the globe right now look at California look at the West Coast and the uh, well look I mean look <laughs> it's pretty crazy out there there's not a whole lot of major earthquake activity but there's definitely some movement out there and uh, the Salton Sea region down here seen some sporadic earthquake activity. No major quakes to report down there, but something to watch as we're seeing kind of like a swarm of activity west of the Salton Sea region here. Uh, at least over the last day, we've kind of seen some swarming picking up in that region here. Let's go ahead and back out just a tad bit here. We'll swing up north and check out the latest earthquake activity there in the red, Mount Whitney. Seeing a little bit of earthquake activity out there. Mount Whitney's over here, Lone Pine. Here's the uh, latest earthquake there, 1.5 near the Lone Pine region. No swarms really to report other than the activity down there uh, in Southern Cal most of the activity here in Ridgecrest area aftershock activity following last year's major events there as well as the activity in Nevada this is all typical of some aftershock activity following the fault rupture that you can obviously see going uh, west to south or west to east there um, in Nevada so not a whole lot of abnormal earthquake activity there in that region uh, Northern California the zoom in here real quick I kind of want to check out this little lone earthquake up here 
see where we're at. Mount Lassen is a ways away from that little quake. This is all mountainous region. Got the foothills and the Sierra Nevadas here, so uh, nothing volcanic going on in that area. Just purely plate tectonic, small surface quaking going on um, in that area. So, rest of the globe uh, looking pretty inactive, I guess. You know, there's not a whole lot of activity out here along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. I do want to bring back the Post the activity that has taken place out here um, east of the Rockies here. This is kind of like a list of some major quakes that have taken place throughout history. And it, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of folks are, you know, in awe that an earthquake even took place in North Carolina. Well, uh, earthquakes can happen anywhere. That's why pretty much at the end of the video, I always say, Make sure you have an earthquake plan no matter where you're at on the globe because earthquake activity can happen anywhere out here, folks. Aside from the New Madrid and the Arkansas earthquakes there, back in the early 1800s there, with those mega quakes there, 8.5, uh, 8.7 magnitude quakes there, uh, North Carolina has seen some good sized quakes there. 1861, they've seen a 5.1. Um, 1916 was the last major quake there in North Carolina with a 5.5 magnitude being recorded there. The big one, just the state south of there, the 7.3 that struck in South Carolina, 1886 there. There's some big quakes that take place out there, folks. This is uh, not an area where we are saying that nothing will ever happen. Because that is not the case out there. I did uh, type in the Wikipedia here the 1886 Charleston earthquake. That's that 7.3 earthquake I was just talking about. It did some major damage out there. Extreme intensity being recorded out there from the folks supposedly back in the day. Uh, very little to no historical earthquake activity had occurred which is unusual for uh, so yeah, this is from the Wikipedia page, but we're looking at uh, back then, the shock was felt as far as away as Massachusetts, Massachusetts, Boston, right? To the north, Chicago, Chicago, Illinois, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, yeah, pretty much anywhere back in the east, right? Cuba, looks like, even felt it. So, some major movement was definitely being felt along a wide area out there um, it's pretty much an interplate earthquake similar to the earthquake that took place today okay a lot of history going on out there and you could go on for a long time and explain uh, about hundreds and possibly millions of years ago how the plates and the continents uh, moved around and uh, there's still faults out there along the east coast that uh, will uh, produce some earthquakes here. And this is um, very it's a very active area if you if you really think about it when it comes to um, movement. Not like the west coast, no doubt the west coast has it beat, but definitely uh, it can produce some major movement out there. So, you know, it's just best to be on guard, folks. I mean, East Coast, you're not safe from hurricanes. You're definitely not safe from earthquakes, obviously. South Carolina, seen that big one back there um, well over 100 and something years ago, 7.3. Uh, the last major quake in North Carolina, it's been well over 100 and, uh, 106 years ago. Today, that uh, was put a stop to. So it's, it's something to pay attention to, folks. The new Madrid fault system sits out there. And, um, you know, pretty much anywhere Mother Nature wants to do her thing, she's going to do it. You know, you can kind of look at plate tectonics in a way 
and look at the progression of the plates in general and make a general idea of where potential um, pressure may be built up but you really can't predict you really can't predict any specific area that could increase or could be a likelihood of increased earthquake activity it's just going to happen um, wherever the the um, well the most pressure is built up and the weakest spots are uh, um, are defined there so looking at the western pacific here still very minimal folks we haven't seen a lot of earthquake activity over the last i would say 48 hours or so out here along the globe it's looking pretty uh absent pretty uh pretty quiet when it comes to earthquake activity out here so something to be on guard about of course you know earth is uh <laughs> it's gonna do its thing it's gonna it's going to grow it's going to uh uh you know create earthquakes where it needs to be created so have a good night folks it is sunday night i am about ready to head to bed so i hope everyone had a great weekend and it looks like a uh another week ahead of us monday tomorrow so We'll see what the week has in store. Have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys another time.